So within Lamp Words for Life, um, there is a way to mask or hide and unmask or unhide words. Um, this is one of the systems where it is easier um, to do this uh, and you can do it when, whenever um, you want to make sure that the child has a version that they're always exploring and that if you are hiding or masking words, you are giving them time to explore the complete version and then you're um, making sure that you're not hiding words for too long and you are eventually moving not eventually, very soon moving to um, a more full version or a version with more and more words. Um, so what LAMP calls this um, when you're hiding words is called Vocabulary Builder. So how you would access this is in the top right hand corner. You hit Menu and Vocabulary Builder um, is this option. When you click on it, you'll get this long list. So these are all the words in the whole system, which can be really overwhelming. And so what I usually do is if I'm doing this, depending on what I'm working on with the, with the team. So for example, you might be, um, you might have chosen a core word of the week, um, or you might have chosen the routine of mealtime. I'll show both. Um, and so what you can do is let's say you choose that you're going to work on this with go and stop. And so what um, is easiest is you want to go in the bottom right hand corner and click disable all and so what that does um, is it's going to disable all the words in here so you don't have to go in and click everything and so then you want to make sure that the little button is on meaning that when you um, click done vocabulary builder is on you can easily turn it off which just means that everything will show up again and you'll have the entire um, full version of lamp available and so you want to make sure that you now all the words are disabled. And so if you click done, it'll kind of be a blank screen. You don't want that. So you go back up to menu, vocabulary builder, and you want to make sure to choose the words you want. So in this example, you go to the search button and you search go. And you'll see that it shows up. And so I'm clicking on it right now, but you have to make sure to check it. And then now it's checked. And then you want to click stop. check so you see it's checked um unchecked it by mistake and so now when you click done those are the only two that will show up go stop. stop and so when you are ready to um turn off vocabulary builder and so usually you would only do this for maybe a quick activity to show where the words are and then you would turn it off you would turn off vocabulary builder click done and then all the words show up again go back to menu, click on vocabulary builder. Um, if you want to now work on um, where the words are for mealtime, um, what you can do is either add on to it or make, um, make sure to have a version um, that only has the mealtime words. It's really up to you. Um, I'm going to choose to just add on to what we already have going. But before I do that, I'm going to show you that you can save a list. And so what that means is that you can save what we call the go stop list and access it later if you want to with nothing else on the word page and you don't have to remake it. So how you would do that is you would click save list in the top right hand corner and you can name it whatever you want. I usually name it after the words it's on that are on it. Um, file save successfully and so that means that you'll have, you'll see I have go stop, I have a meal time list so you can click on it and then that, that will now show up and be available. And so now I'm going to add mealtime words such as eat. And this is something you would discuss with the family. And drink. And so you want to make sure to turn on vocabulary builder. When you click done, now you see it added a few more words. So eat, drink. And so now when you're done with vocabulary builder, you can shut it off. And this makes um, masking and unmasking words um, pretty easy. And you want to make sure to always provide access to the full version um, over time. You don't want to stay on Vocabulary Builder for extended periods of time, but it is a tool there for you um, and for the child to really learn where things are. Um, as an adult, the best thing that you can use is the Word Finder, which is right under Vocabulary Builder, which is just a search feature for you.